السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله My dear respect brothers and sisters in Islam Today I'm going to talk about that was the treatment of sadness and was the treatment of her depression and anxiety people are complaining about their depression their anxiety and their sadness as well but what is the treatment in our deen in our islam and i would say the islam is the only treatment for our sadness the way allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he sent in the quran inna ma'al usri yusra Ease comes after hardship. Anytime we face hardship, that means there, there will be an easiness will come in, inshallah. So, and we have to live in this world with happiness and sadness. Both way we have to live in this world with happiness and sadness. And when happiness comes in our way, then this, this time passes by so quickly that we cannot even imagine. And sometimes when when our sadness comes, when this is the moment of sadness, then this time goes very slowly. And then we have to count every second in our, in our day. So people are getting affected by their sadness. Okay? And, Allah, and Prophet wasallam said in this, uh, said in hadith, dunya sijunul mu'mini. This dunya, this world is the prison for mu'min. This world is a prison for mu'min. So the way prison, prisoners, they don't go to the jail with their willing. The willingly, they don't go to the jail. And they, don't, they cannot come out of their jail. They cannot come out of the jail with willingly. Okay? So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also sent us in this world without our willingness. We did not ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send us in this world. And we will not ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take us from this world. And this is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who sent us in this world and he will take us away from this world. Okay? So there is nothing uh, we do willingly. And then until we are in this world, then we have to live with sadness. And we have to live with our uh, sadness and anxiety and depression sometime. One story of a doctor, he went to uh, a seminar and he asked all the people that how many of you have problems? How many of you are facing problems? Everyone replied that we are all have some kind of problems. We are facing some kind of problems, everyone. So they raised their hand that we have a problem. Then he asked, like, how many of you want to get rid of problems? Then everyone raised their hand and said, like, uh, we want to. Uh, we, also, we all of us want to get rid of any kind of problems that we are facing. Then doctor said, like, we can't, we pa I passed by a... A, a place where I saw people do, don't have any kind of problems. So how many of you want to go in that place? Everyone raised their hand. They said, like, we want to go in that place. Then doctor asked, like, okay, how many of you will go to that cemetery that I passed by? I saw every people are very, they're sleeping very peacefully. They don't have any problems. Now tell me how many of you want to go there. Now no, no one raised their hands. So the doctor said, like, see, in this world, if you want to live this world, live in this world, then we have to live with the problems. We cannot get rid of the problems. The day we will not have any problems, that means we will die and we'll uh, leave this world. So uh, some trouble comes from the sky. Some trouble comes from the earth. And some trouble comes without our fault. For example, a person is walking on the street and uh, he got accident, right? Without his fault, he, he, he lost his leg, he lose his leg, right? Or he lose his, uh, any part of his body, right? So these kind of problems, the trouble comes in our way, then we have, to, we have to do tolerate it. We have to tolerate it. We have to endure, okay? Uh, if anything does not have any cure, then you have to endure, right? So in this way, 
Al-Buka'u ila sabah that we have to cry until the morning. If we face any problem in the, in the evening, then we have to cry until morning, right? This is an Arabic uh, uh, quote that we have to tolerate everything. We have to tolerate. To tolerate all these things, we have to know how to tolerate Islam teaches us. Islam teaches us this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, ma asaba min musibatin illa bi There is no musiba, there is no trials comes in our way without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, if anything comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, biyadihi al-khayr. Then there is only goodness. In Allah's hand, only goodness. There is no nothing that has bad. Any anything that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is a goodness. And sometimes uh, a baby does not want to take any medicine, right? Because baby does not know that this benefit will uh, give him cure, right? Will this benefit will help him to reduce his pain and all uh, anything that uh, he's uh, like suffering from the sickness, it will go away. Baby does not know it. But mom forces the baby to take this medicine because mom knows that this medicine is good for my baby. So if baby, because baby doesn't know, if baby start thinking, baby start know, knowing that this medicine is good for me, then it will be very easy for that baby to take, take this medicine, okay? To, to tolerate this medicine, right? To bear this. So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, anything comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, anything, any trial comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, biyadihi al-khayr. There is a goodness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we don't know that. We don't know that. And, وَمَنْ يُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ يَهْدِ قَلْبَهُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, if you have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will guide our soul. Allah will guide our qalb. Allah will give us a peaceful qalb, right? And then I'm going to tell like three reasons why we face trials, why we go through masiba in this dunya, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives masiba in this world for us. So first one is to test Allah, test us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to test us to improve our iman. iman. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala test us? Because if any person wants to become a doctor, then he has to go through so many uh, so many tests, okay? If he passed the first grade, then he has to take the second grade, then he has to take the test for third grade, then he has to take the uh, test for high school, then college and university. When you pass the test, you get the, the hardest test again, right? You have to face the hardest one again. So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the same way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests us in this world, and he he tests us in this world, and to improve our iman, to make our iman improve and strong, okay? The second one, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us masiba, second, second uh, reason that this is the expiation of our sin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we make sin. Every moment we are making sin, we are committing sin, right? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us the masiba in this world instead of giving us punishment in the hereafter, right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us uh, masiba for a kafara of our sin, kafara of our dhunub, right? And then the third one, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us problems, give us uh, uh, like uh, trials and then masiba. When ayah of Quran, Asa an tuhibbu shay'an wa huwa sharrul lakum. Asa an tuhibbu shay'an. You may love something, wa huwa sharrul lakum, which is bad for you, which is not good for you. وَعَسَىٰ أَن تَكْرَهُ شَيْئًا And you may uh, dislike something, you may hate something. وَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ Which is good for you. So if we start thinking this, that anything that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even though we think that this is not good for us, and we start thinking, we start uh, uh, talking that only Allah see me, that only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving us these kind of problems. No, this kind of problems comes to all the mu'mineen and we have to believe that anything that we don't like but it can be good for us and anything that we believe that this is not good for us 
it can be good for us, right? So we have to have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that anything comes in our way if we are not happy with that. Faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we come in this world, we, not, we did not bring anything with us. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent us in this world, we did not bring anything with us. But when we are living in this world, we will not take anything with us. Right? So whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us in this dunya, we have to be happy with that. We should not look at the person who is wealthier than me. We should look uh, the one who is uh, less, uh, uh, less wealthier than me. You have to look, look at them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us everything. In one hadith, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if we follow that hadith, then we will not have any kind of sadness. وَرْضَ بِمَا قَسَمَ اللَّهُ لَكَ فِي الدُّنْيَا تَكُنْ أَغْنَى الْنَاسِ That if you are happy, be happy with, with whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted you, تَكُنْ أَغْنَى الْنَاسِ You will be the richest person in this world. Okay? If anyone become happy and pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make him the richest person. This person will be richest person. Okay? So, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us to feel. Don't be sad in this world because if we, so many people, they become so sad in this world because they start something business, they, they lose their business, they start some job, they lose their job. But, Look at Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how many years he worked in Mecca and how many followers he did he got from Mecca. He worked 13 years. He suffered so much in Mecca. He went to the jail for three years, three, three, uh, uh, three months. And then he went to Ta'if, right? So, so many uh, problems he faced in Mecca. And how many followers did he get? But Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam didn't give up. He, start, he kept doing his work, okay? And then Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam, people cannot imagine like how many years he worked for his ummah, 950 years, but he did not give up. He did not give up. He kept doing his work, whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him. So we have to, if we start anything, if we want to job, if we want to start a business, then keep your work. Whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written for you, you will get it. One hadith Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, a person will not die until he finish whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written the rizq for him. Right? Subhanallah. So we should not be very sad for anything that we lose. Okay? Anything that we lose, we have to have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is a khair. There is a good, good things is coming up. Right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if we faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the way we, we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala treat us like this. Okay? So, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to have faith in Him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to make our, build our iman and build our iman strong. Jazakumallahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.